Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I've decided in between episodes, which was only all of two minutes, that what I want to do on this episode is try and find a, a, an apprentice mission that we can do. We can take Sandless here, who has not got a name yet, so if you'd like to take this slot, then do leave me a comment or tweet me about it, uh, and I will get you in here. But uh, I'd like to take Sandless and some low-level people, try and get those low-level people to be high-level people. Marie has been very patient because we haven't seen her for quite some time in a mission, so what we'll do is we'll take Senlis, who can basically be anywhere. Uh, Dutchia, that's a uh, new Dutch, in honour of the fact that we killed Dutch by accident. Your preferred position is third. Your preferred position is... Uh, you can do... Uh, 45 Vapors is actually... That's a bit of a bugger. I want to take you, but I don't want you to be where you're going to be. Alright. Sorry, Dutch. We're taking this new one because we want the money. Basically, this is going to be an XP mission, but in order to pay for it, to make it worthwhile, apart from getting some progress in the Warrens, we want to get some more money, we want to get as many deeds and stuff as we can. Don't really care too much about taking Brown, although we might do. I think we'll take Martinez and Megistos. So all the M's and then Senlis, who I'm tempted to rename to an M name just to <laughs> have some poet poetical poetry. Uh... Yeah, this seems like a decent take all the damage type thing. We've got the the retribution one with the riposte, which marks yourself. We've got the guarding thing to guard somebody else. And of course, this unit has got the protect me, which forces a guard. But you can switch that guard later, but it still keeps the buff. It's pretty nice. Uh, although you can keep the guard because there's no reason, I guess, not to. Uh, this is... This is a decent set of stuff. We've got Blight and Bleed, and we are going to the Warrens, apparently, even though I haven't really mentioned that. Uh, do we want to upgrade these units? Can we upgrade these units? We can't upgrade Sendless. Can I, please? Thank you. We can only unlock new ones. Uh, Dutch will probably be on the next mission or a later one. These are all upgraded to all hell. Excuse me, I didn't want to go there, even though that was exactly where I clicked and you all saw it. Do what I mean, not what I say. So we can't upgrade them any further than they are, which is fine with me. There's no point upgrading camping skills for this mission because it's a short mission. There is no camping. This should be a nice short episode, and we have seen before. Uh, wait. There's no. Let's go back to the. Yeah. We have seen before that we can probably get two of these in if we do it right. So we will get all the trinkets back. Thank you very much. We will sort by character class restriction. We don't have anything specifically for the antiquarian. But we don't need anything specifically for the antiquarian, so that's fine. You will only drink, and you have a less of a... Well, that's probably... That might be good, if you could do any damage to anything at all, which I don't think you can. Uh, we will take this one. And we will take... No. I don't want that. Uh, Resistances might be good. We might just take this one so that you don't take too much damage and therefore we don't... It's not got a healer. We don't normally take a healer. That's fine. We take a high protection build and hope for the best. You can do a bit of healing, actually. So there's that. Uh, I guess you take... Blight skills. That seems good. What have we got here? Disease resist is okay. Not really intending to catch a disease. Accuracy is also... Could be pretty good. Do you have the stuns? No, you haven't got the stuns. So there's no point taking that. I guess then we want more blight or just less damage. More resist might be nice. Human damage? You do get humans everywhere. Hmm. I want the blight things, really, but I don't seem to have any. Well, in that case, we might as well give you accuracy. I guess the minus 5% max HP doesn't matter too much. What we've got in terms of the uh, grave robber here? Do we even have anything? We do. More speed and more move resist is okay. Stun skill chance might be really good, so we'll probably take that. And I guess we just want um, a buff to our damage. Any buff to our damage would be pretty nice. Because you're mostly a uh, stab people in the face type of build, right? Is that ranged? Yes, it is. 
Oh, it does actually tell you whether it's ranged or melee. So we've got two ranged and two melee. So there's, there we go. Less dodge is not brilliant. Bleed, debuff. Max HP is okay. Stun resist is okay. I want to just do more damage. Can we just do more damage? There's beasts in there, aren't there? Might as well take that. Sure. You're going to be our DPS unit and you're going to be our protection unit. So you're going to want more protection. More HP, maybe? More dodge. That could be good. If you got more dodge... Uh, it's, look. <laughs> it's not minus six. Okay? What's this, though? That's pretty bad. Don't care about it. It's pretty bad, but not too bad. Let's provision. We've already spent five minutes waffling on. Bring in a shovel, thanks to the grave digger, which pleases me. We'll take a full stack of food. Mostly because I'm scared of getting three hungers on a short mission. Warrens, 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 Warrens. So there's going to be maybe... Oh, I don't need that. Uh, some bandages, some anti-venom. Probably some more shovels. There might be graves down there. And a bunch of torches. Most of the things we interact with will be interacting with with our antiquarian anyway. A couple of keys. Sure. Let's go. Light and bleed damage. Ignore the enemy's protection prot. That's fine. So I've basically sort of thrown caution to the wind. I've I've been non-committal on what I want to interact with, what I expect. The swine. We so it's, first scout their squalid homes. it's an exploration mission, so we can maybe avoid one room. But which? I guess we avoid that one? It's going to be backtracking whatever we do, so we might as well go as straight as possible and stop thinking about it. We have some scouting. You have got 60, bad. 100 is good. But, as we've seen before, 110 is sometimes not good enough. Every time you disarm a trap, someone drops a knife. A bit clumsy of them. Must be the kitchens. Why doesn't this count as exploring the room, I'm just saying. There's another trap here, but at least there's a curio on the way. And hopefully it's not a shambling monster. I walked into it because I was thinking that they were the other way around. Luckily, Martin has dodged it. You. Okie dokie. Is that good? Kind of, except you can't go there, so no. <laughs> Didn't even find anything in it. Where's my antiques? bit of backtracking here, but the torch does go down less uh, when you backtrack, so I guess that's a, a bonus. It's a bit noisy down here, isn't it? All those seething monsters. It's pretty grim. You can still find antiques and torches, as it turns out, because that's what you expect to find in a torch, is a flaming antique. We will burn a torch, then start the uh, combat. <coughs> Excuse me, again. I kind of want you to... Uh... Oh, you're in the wrong place, aren't you? You need to lunge first, and then shadow fade. That's okay. Uh, I want to hit that. <laughs> Plus... Okay, well, I guess we just killed this one, because it can cause... With I wanted to hit that one mostly, but that one can cause bad stuff to happen to us, so I guess I'm okay with it. We can... That's four per round, four per round. Can I want to kill this outright if I possibly can? It doesn't look like that's necessarily going to be an option. Uh, what's your resistances? Blight is only 10%. I think I'll play grenade it for one. We're blighting it for four. It's got 13, so if we can do any damage at all, that would be splendid, but I don't think we can. Uh, we'll use our plus three dodge, as we usually do with the Antiquarian. Which, apart from the money, is the only reason we have an Antiquarian. If I can um, stun this, that'd be brilliant. I don't have the stun attack, unfortunately. Six to twelve is not enough. But it, uh, it might... Oh, you dodged. Very well done. I was going to say, it might take enough damage to then die on that turn, but fortunately that was not the case. So we seem to have a little bit of issue actually hitting the... Uh, the units further back. It's okay for now. Probably try and keep this unit around, because as I've said, I don't want to scum it up by 
disbanding people just because they're not well, though that may actually be the point, if you see what I mean. Like the fact that this Shadow Fade can't stun the back unit. Bit of a pain in the ass. I'd like to stun that because it can cause disease, which is even worse than stress. <clears throat> so, everyone getting a bit of stress. It's probably better than one person getting any disease at all. You what? Right, because you went first. Wow, well done. Uh, having just come from playing last episode, this is a little bit uh, sobering. <clears throat> to learn that this many people have this bad accuracy. Uh, you're basically dead, right? Not quite. That's literally just a me thing. Oh, you can attack something. So we should attack this with it, which did hit, which is nice. That unit is now dead. Not going to have another go. We have repost, which at least... It was good timing, right? At least we got some damage out of that. And that. You didn't take a disease. Excellent, you're dead. Why have you still got a turn? Because it's a new turn and I only just realised. So now we lunge and crit the shit out of that. Apparently that was what I should have done in the first place. Okie dokie. We're learning. <clears throat> I know that I said that the Grave Robber is probably my... F Mary, really. Probably my favourite character, but there are tricks to it that I tend to forget or just not realise. That's really nice. Less stress damage, just a, just a comforting, um, just a comforting music box, I suppose. Why don't you eat this extra food that you just found? <coughs> I don't so much mind Megistos here having the, the less HP, because it's kind of Megistos's purpose to have less HP. Right. Don't want to go. Look, exploring 90% of rooms is fine, but if nothing actually has anything in it, then our journey here feels somewhat a waste. <coughs> There's a bit more HP as well. We've got three shovels, because I'm expecting to have to dig my way through stuff. I do... <coughs> I do apologise for the fact that I keep coughing, but... It is what it is. Um, I do tend to give short missions less credit than I should for how short they actually are. Squeak at the end of that. Ah! Stop talking, Megistos. Um, so I, I may... It, it's probably fair to say that I do over-provision for them. But you never know what you're going to get, right? I mean, these curios, any of them could have been the sort of stuff that we actually wanted to interact with. There is a room battle with treasure here, and if I put... Now, there's a chance this goes horribly wrong, but I'm doing it anyway. It went horribly wrong. Debuff. No worries. I'll just use the protect me thing. Oh, hello. I knew about that as well, didn't I? <coughs> right, do we lunge here or do we poison first? Lunge will get us into a position where we can't do shit. Except for Shadow Fade. But I think we do it anyway. Because <coughs> we want Marie to be able to do stuff. And that's exactly what I wanted to see. That's got such a good crit on it that we got rid of probably the most annoying character on the field. You can't play grenade from there, actually, so that was maybe the wrong order to do things. Alright, we're learning, <clears throat> as I keep mentioning. Uh, yeah, I think we just Noxious Blast one of these jokers. They're both the same. Um, so when you take your Grave Robber, as long as they've got Lunge, which is a pretty decent... Ow. Pretty decent... Uh, is that 75%? I don't know. What was I saying? It's, if, it's got a pretty decent attack in that lunge, but it hurts. We should, uh, we should retribution, I think. <coughs> so, you then need a party that can cope with being moved around like that. That's perfect. Like, uh, Megistos here works really well from both the first two positions. But Marie, as it turns out, does not like being moved... Actually, says you're better in the third position, even though apparently you can't play grenade, so... Maybe I was just doing something wrong. Well, obviously now I can't, because there's no targets for it. Oh, I did crit it straight away, actually, so there is that. Uh, we might as well stun this one, because that one's dead. So this seems like a decent party for that. 
Provided that you don't Shadow Fade twice. You didn't even stun, did you? 65% stun resist. Didn't realise that was so high. But again, it's not like there's any point in hitting that one, right? It's not going to be able to do anything. We will crush you. You are dead. You have a go. You are dead. Perfect. So all you have to do is remember to move your Grave Robber back to the third position and hope that they go first on every run that you do. On every combat that you have. Like this one. Grave Robber going first is something you can generally count on because they have such high speed. Uh, but uh, not that much apparently. Uh, 7 speed versus 10 speed. So it's quite a lot, quite a good chance of going uh, first but apparently not that much of a chance. So we want to ba basically Noxious Blast something because the Blight is so high on that compared to the Bleed. Unfortunately they're not surprised but honestly whatever. Right? You can always protect me on that that unit there, which is not currently reposting, which is a shame, because that would have been a great time to have been reposting. So we will lunge and try to one-shot this. What is the uh, crit on that? It's 18% chance, so that's that's really, really high. Uh, yeah, we do lunge. Poison darts could be used from this position. I think maybe I should start you at the back in future. Let's try that. Perfect. Cannot fault this lunge, though. It's working perfectly well every single time. So if we can start the Grave Robber at the back. The Red Plague? What the heck is that? Don't, don't tell me or anything. Um, the Lunge will actually take you to the second position from where you could do everything. Except for Poison Darts. But Poison Darts, if you're at the back, is fine, right? Might, uh, might rethink the order of this party, to be fair. So you're going to crush... You're on 9 and that's 4, so... Oh, okay. Kind of expected it to not be quite so good. I'm going to force you to protect me because it does buff you. Dodge and protection, which is brilliant. And now I can use repost and have a good chance of not taking much damage from it, which is quite important. Uh, no, we'll just Noxious Blast again. So this may not be the greatest composition just because of how unlikely Marie is to be able to do anything when when their position changes. Because third position is basically paramount for Marie. The only thing is that when at the back, she's slightly more like valuable because of this, Cure Black Bleed. In fact, probably should have done that. Not that it's too much of a, an issue here, but let's uh, plus three dodge everybody. I'm just trying to talk through, basically for myself, but also so everybody knows what I'm thinking. What I'm trying to do here, because I can't hit this unit. As you notice, there's nothing I can do to hit this damn unit. In fact, I should probably use this to do it. It's the only one I can actually uh, apply damage with. At least that died. So this was not necessarily the most thought through. Can we just kill that? Yeah. But it's not the worst party composition. So I'm not unhappy with it. I've got a stun and a blight on that, so that's not doing anything. I'll take all that, thank you. We did bring a key for once, so... Ah, uh, wait, I've got to pick a minute. You're going to open it. Of course it does. That's what it's there for. Gold, trinkets and baubles. Right. In blood. So... The main issue with this party composition is that there's no way you can put the Grave Robber that means that Marie is always in the right position. Or, or at least everybody is in the right position. right? So as soon as I move the Grave Robber, which I'm hoping is first, the Grave Robber will be here. But Marie is currently in the right position irrespective of that. But as soon as I do that, Marie is in the wrong position and can't use Incision. Which is okay. Maybe I should spec Marie to have something like this. So that everything she does is available from the back two positions. At which point, we've got what I was talking about, i.e. a party composition that will allow the Grave Robber to move around without actually suffering in terms of what the rest of the party can do. So I'm just going to feed the Grave Robber a little bit here. We've got enough in case we have a hunger uh, pang in a minute. But now, uh, now the Antiquarian is slightly useless. Except for what the Antiquarian is here for. In combat, the Antiquarian is even more useless 
than the antiquarian normally is. Well, we've done this, we might as well return to the hamlet. What's that, 20 minutes? What do you reckon? Should we try and knock out another one? I mean, we could do. Seems like a good idea. We do like to do double antiquarian missions. I also like to get out of the way the missions that we're only doing to get money, right? I mean, it seems like a, an important uh, important thing to do. What is this? Oh, investigating the dark arts. That doesn't seem good. That's good. That's also pretty good. Uh, I like to... Like, these short missions that we're just doing in All order to life, bolster our financial position annoying in the back of my mind. are quite valuable. It was a yearning, Didn't get anything a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. But I guess because Sandless here just got so much wrong with it. What does this do then? 75 believes just 10 max HP, 5 crit. Not actually something I would be upset taking this unit out with. Let's see if we've got anything else available. A leper, a man at arms. I'm wondering whether we just start making sure we get more experienced recruits. We've got plenty of room for people. We've actually got room for three more. I'm not too concerned. I don't understand the purpose of doing this. I understand that you're more likely to get something that you want. But at the same time, I'm not really recruiting. At this stage, I'm not actively seeking more people to bring along. What I'm more concerned about doing is upgrading people like Marie so that she can do something from the back position all the time. In fact, this is really, really good. I should replace that with that. Then Marie is in a position to do something from the back two positions, which means we can take the same party composition straight again without even changing the trinkets around. Although, you managed to get a disease, despite being resistant to everything except disease. Well done. Uh, like, did I want... I didn't really help, did it? Because there wasn't enough beast in there. Maybe we should have something for you, like, uh, more accuracy? Because we didn't give that to Megistos in the end. We gave Megistos a lot of dodge and prop. Let's try that. That seems better. And you're going to be replacing this with this. So now you've got the stun skill, which in the first place I said we didn't have, and therefore we couldn't figure out what to do with you. So now you can have the stunning amulet, which is 30%, which is brilliant. That should at least allow us to deal damage to the back unit. Well, not damage to it, but uh, to get it out of the, the equation until we could do something else. Because having plague in that place was okay. It did alright against the the um, the summoners, the, the stabby people and the stressy people, but not against the things that live in the weald. However, are we actually going back to the weald? That was the warrens, sorry. Are we actually going back to the warrens? That is a medium apprentice mission, not what I'm going to do. Nope. Absolutely not doing that. I don't think any... Why is that? It's just the colour of it, I think. I'm starting to think that maybe these are different colours and I haven't noticed. Here's a short apprentice, 9% of rooms in the ruins, which is nice and easy. We've got a good party composition for the ruins. Probably going to stress out our new antiquarian, but I'm happy to put them in uh, therapy once they have earned their keep. So, we might as well just provision this straight away. I will take 8 torches seemed like enough. Honestly, 12 food did seem to work because uh, we ate 4 food to try and heal up. And um, we still wanted to make sure we didn't suffer from hunger. Because then we wouldn't have been able to come now with the same party. I'm going to take uh, maybe one bandage. Uh, there's not much in there that needs it. Let's take some holy water instead. Because we can still collect stuff on the way. Three keys seems good for the ruins because there's a lot of locked stuff in the ruins. In theory, let's start waffling on and just get on with it so we can fit two episodes into one episode, get a load of money and come back in the next episode and do something awesome like fight a boss or something. And the undead will not bleed, but they can be blighted. Face out the halls of your lineage. Once the rooms, so... Now, Oren. We can do it. If we do it sensibly, we can sort of trace an S-shape and avoid any backtracking and uh, explore as many corridors as we can, which I think is important because those are where the curios are, which is where the antiquarian comes in. You're at the back. And you're in this position. That's right. I forgot to reorder the uh, people after I respect them. 
Uh, and that is re hyphen past tense of spec. Not respect them because until they stop stepping on traps and screwing everything up, I'm not going to respect them that much at all. We know where we're going, so we might as well do it. Ready for this attack? Oh, okay, cool. Not surprised, but. I'm kind of tempted to flashing daggers and kill too. It's quite likely. <laughs> Funny fucking story. <coughs> Excuse me, moi. So you've got. You've caught the death. Well done. As mentioned, not too bothered about this unit's red plague because who gives a shit? Oh, you're in a bad position, actually. Yeah, you're even worse in combat now than you were. Like, normally I would have moved forwards and then you could have done stuff, but I guess you didn't. Why are you so stressed? I didn't realise. Never mind. We've probably got two units for stress now. For de-stress, I suppose I should say. Yep, that's okay. That's what we did that for. You're even more de-stressy than you. Just kill it. Executed with impunity. This has not been a brilliant one because you screwed up the first attack, you dick. Just lunge to it. Back to the pit. I thought that we had a decently enough chance to kill both of them at once that I didn't want to take the basically guaranteed chance to kill only one of them. Boring. Don't you start talking. You're not here for having opinions. You're here to find antiques and to stop complaining when everything's attackers. There's plenty of stuff to do, including an obstacle. Not too bothered by that Curio down there. I would prefer to the cold not backtrack. Seems bent on preventing passage. There's hunger, so that's good. Having a bit of extra HP at this stage is not the end of the world. This is one of those long, short missions that make me glad I brought extra torches. Well, not extra torches, but uh, enough food to stave off several hungers. Just, just deal with everything. I don't care. Ooh. Ruined Scrounger. That's what we like to see. We're actually in the ruins. I don't know if you're aware. So you've uh, you've done us a great boon. Hoping to find maybe a couple of torches on the way. That's not too much trouble. I do sort of slightly count on there being torches here and there. This could be interesting. You're going to lunge. And you're going to kill... That. Again. Let's run through this slowly so that you understand. You're going to lunge... Got that bit right. No problem there. And you're going to kill that. That's where you went wrong. We need to uh, maybe have a bit of a sit down of a discussion in that. Uh, let's do this. Because I'm about to make you have the riposte thingy. Not a fan of that. I'm a fan of that though. You're going to do this by hitting that. <laughs> A coin toss as to whether that actually killed that son of a bitch. Did it? No. Punishment, you say? That was actually very well done because you happened to attack that. That basically gave us a 50% chance of hitting Megistos. Uh, which um, paid off. Which I'm happy with. Now you're in a position where you don't have to shadow fade, which pleases me. You finally get rid of that bloody unit. Megistos has taken quite a lot of damage, but that did block all damage just now, so at the same time, that's pretty good. Uh, we do have a heal. This is just less accuracy, which doesn't even stun. I would hope something called Flash Powder would at least disorient them. You're dying really fast, considering I haven't attacked you with anything except for... Uh, well, that repost apparently. Chill out, it's fine. Um, good question. Is this everybody? This is everybody. I want you to have a go. No, <laughs> not you. Ah, to heal yet. We need to get rid of the corpse so we can reach that thing anyway. Who is currently being extremely pesky. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I wanted you to have a go to cure at least one person's bleed. Success. That's not too much of a problem. But apparently you're not capable of having a go when I needed to have a go. Probably a minor misuse of Marie in that fight, to be fair. But at the same time, 
Chap can't be expected to realise that the whole thing is going to turn around. There's a lot of battles, actually. More battles than was originally anticipated. Okie dokie. You're getting a lot of bonuses from this. Hard skins. That's what we need at this stage, actually. Can we have a torch, please? No. There we go. Everyone's just <laughs> bleeding out. Oh, jeez Louise. More stressy, blighty bollocks. You're going to have to fortify yourself at some point. Um, Two damage for one round. Honestly? That seems like... That's four points worth of damage just resolved there. So we will try and get rid of probably this one. These are the stunning ones, but... <laughs> You're so kind. Um, but that one had more blight attacks, which I'm not happy with. Plus, we are resisting all of that, so that's also fine. So I'm going to guard myself with... The lower on HP. It does not fill me with confidence. We may have to run away from this, simply because you've taken so much damage all of a sudden. Like, right from the outset, you're just completely being owned. So we activate Repost. We mark you. We mark ourselves, I suppose. We flashing daggers. We shadow fade. Shadow fade the one that's not nearly dead. Put you in a bad position, actually. That's probably not a great idea. We battlefield medicine on. I forgot this cleared corpses. Actually, I should probably have used that. Uh. Probably keep you alive because you're being guarded, so you're not going to take any damage. So you take some HP. Hopefully that'll crit at some point, which would be really valuable. You are going to. Can we duplicate that buff? Uh, yes, yes we can. You're now taking no damage at all, but not hitting anything. So you know, <laughs> an eye for an eye still counts when nobody actually manages to hit anybody in the eye. Okay, that's good. You can now heal you a little bit. One. It's not enough. One Just end it. Falls. Very good. Be you wary. go over there. Pride precipitates okay, that's good. We're running out of torches very rapidly because we haven't found any. Which is a risk, you know. Sometimes I take more torches than is necessary. And then I find a shitload in the way, so the next time I don't take any torches, and I'm like, well, now I need to buy a shitload of torches. Um, I mean, it's a stun and a shuffle. And you've had a go. Maybe we should stun and shuffle you. Ah, it really worked. That was actually very good. You're going to move forwards as a result of that, that's okay. Resisted everything. You now lunge and kill this. Destroyed. Perfect. So hard that it didn't even leave a corpse. We jibbed it. That's what just happened. Now we activate repost against... Just do some damage to this. Try to anyway. I'd like to kill it. A sap. And then I will protect this with this. And when we stack up two of those, all we're worried about is stress. A good dodge. Perfect timing. We could crit that. We didn't. Could have. Two debuffs. Bleed resist. Nice one. Uh, what does that put you on? More than 100%. Now I was just wondering if that was possible to bring it down to a, a stupidly low amount. Play grenade could actually kill this, I think. But then so could anything else. Um. Like, I'd like to get some healings out. But you can heal, right? Yeah, you can do small heals. So I'm actually going to try this. Yeah, perfect. So you're not going to get a go. That's, that's exactly what I wanted. We can't afford any more stress on these units. We can probably afford a little bit more damage. Although not much. Heal that unit for one. I mean, that's that's an okay heal. Two... two. Continually onslaught. I'd like you to stop bleeding. No, please. No, now we can't heal the bleed. Ah. Oh. Right, you're going to have to eat a bit of food. What are we on? One, two more damage, which is nine. Eat enough food to get you out of 
that horrible zone, but we'll try and use Marie on the next turn. We didn't use a Curio. Do the Curio, you noob. Oh, yeah. Ooh. This could be really good for you to use. Right? It's an Eldritch one. That's okay, right? No. That's really not okay. That's the opposite of okay. You're fearful. That's exactly what we want for the fucking tank. Fear and frailty. Quite true. Finally claim their well, as long as nobody dies, that's the important thing. <laughs> oh, goodness. Why are you so good at these books? Mankind hater. Now you're going to do even more no damage to anything. Uh, you're in the wrong place. That's a big deal. Ah, shit. Make the most of it. Oh, God. You're fine. As long as you don't have a heart attack, you're okay. Which is apparently quite likely. Oh, no. This just started off so well. I blame Martinus. Let's play grenade the back. It at least spread some consistent damage around. That's nearly dead. You're dead on the next turn. That's fine. We can still run away and not actually kill anybody. Which is fine. Set the stage for heroism. Or cowardice. What's this? Bleed resist. Don't care about that. Marked. Repost. No, not you. Good dodge. Keep doing that. I should probably put that on uh, that guard me on that unit, actually. So you're stressing them out. Perfect. Which is not ideal, actually, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm actually going to protect me, but in doing so, protect you more. Seems like a good idea. Can't hit that, which is very unfortunate. And I don't want to... We'll do this. I don't want to do... The flashing daggers, because this one will die to light if we let it. That was perfect, actually. I'm very happy with that. Which means it won't leave a corpse. Which is exactly what we want. No one's bleeding, but I'm kind of tempted to just heal you up anyway. For one. Really good. Does it do any damage? No. Just do this again. Completely get Megistos's protection up to the point where if he takes any damage, at, like if he takes a hit at all, he's going to do no damage. Well, basically no damage. That was three. It was more than we healed for, which is a shame, but... We may have to uh, retreat. We did, we did bring some stuff with us. That's pretty good. Got a lot of stuff. That is way more valuable than... That. <coughs> this is the sort of pack I like to see, though. More damage, less dodge. Not great. Uh, you're okay. Chill out. <laughs> Not happy with this. Oh, no. There's no more... Uh, obstacles, actually. So, in fact, what we basically need to do is decide whether we want to try that battle or that battle. Honestly, that could be better. It could just be spiders, right? But we've only got one battle left in the whole game. So what I'm going to do is do that one because oh, it says battle. It doesn't say anything about Curio. So glad I kept that food. You want to open that? Excellent. Only treasure could you the flow. there. Otherworldly corruption. Well, it can't, so stop lamenting your past mistakes and let us move forward to fixing it. It's very dangerous, <laughs> this whole situation we've got ourselves in. So we're just going to try and do this without actually dying. Um, in which case, if we get to the end... Oh, use the... I was too busy thinking about what I was about to say. A map. Okay, good. Quiet you. Uh... We'll use the torch. If we get to here without using any hunger, we will eat this food. In we go. We took this because of the plague doctor, but we didn't actually get any blights. What? That's OP. Quiet. Everyone's stressing out because you won't shut up. Stressing me out. At least you don't get a go. And you can lunge it. Dead. What? Lowest roll. Didn't even crit. Super upset. Gonna 
go home and cry to my mum. Mum. A bit more damage on that seems like a good idea. Really want to get the stress dealers out. If we can avoid putting Martinus in for... Perfect, thank you. In for any... Um, stress relief. That would be good, because then we don't spend all of the money we just got. Are you supposed to dodge that? Hello? Jebin. Yeah, try it. Fuck you. He's already stressed as shit anyway. Uh, unfortunately, there's a... Thing. Where can we lunge from? We can lunge from that position. So... My guess is that we do this to... This has got uh, just a punch, right? It's got bleed. Don't like bleed. And a debuff. So we'll stun you, at least try to, which we succeeded at. Then we will shuffle you. Stun it, so it didn't get another bloody go. Get rid of that corpse. Now everything's in range. That was perfect timing. Bump in the night is fine. We've got repost and quite a lot of protection, so we should be okay here. He says, trying to reassure himself. I think we take the kill over a maybe kill. Seems more sensible to me. Then you... You could be protected by somebody else, actually. You have... You're not going to die. No one's going to die. Might as well reduce the accuracy of this Joker. If we can. We can. Now you can lunge again, which is nice. Ha! Now you're in a position where you can't actually do that nonsense that we didn't like in the first place. And now we lunge at you. Excellent. That actually reduced you to 17 stress, which means definitely you're not going for stress relief, even if you wanted to. No. It's not going to happen. A uh, bit more dodge, I suppose. We can't do any damage to that. I think we handled this okay, even though Megistos stressed out way more than was anticipated. We've got a stun resist. 65 is still okay. Might as well just do the damage at this stage, so get it over with. Um... The stress that we got from this journey was outrageous compared to what I anticipated. Let's see what that is. is a slow and insidious killer. But we managed it without a healer. We did do a few heals, so we probably kept ourselves topped up just to the right level. I think Megistos would have died if we hadn't used the heals that we did. You got fucking syphilis. Marty. For real, though. Come on, though. And you can't meditate, which... Fair enough. Alright, we'll put you lot in for de-stress. That was good. We did do two missions consecutively with the same people. So we'll send Megistos in for this. Senlis can go in for... Wait. Drinking. Okay, good. I completely forgot that anybody had this, um, this problem where they will only go to a certain place. You will go anywhere. I was going to send you in for drinking, but we might as well send you in for gambling. It's the second cheapest. And actually, the next person is Jekry, who is only. You going to tell me? 35. Not necessarily worth going in for stress relief, but then Jekry is level 4 and going to be going on more difficult missions in future. You've got lethargy and syphilis. Honestly? Don't care. You're a healer. That's all you're doing. You can heal yourself if you have to. You have got syphilis, which is bad for a uh, court jester. I clicked on that by accident, but there's our um, previous failures laid out for all to see. So you're going to get rid of that. Anybody else got some gross communicable disease that nobody wants to hear about? Only Senlis, who is in for something else. Well, we did get a lot of money. Not quite back up to the 22 odd thousand we had before, but then again, we did just spend several thousand gold, trying to make up for the fact that we did the second mission and possibly should not have in the next episode. What shall we do? Let's sort by level, that's what we want to do. Maybe we will try to... I wish there was a scroll bar. Uh, take the people that I didn't take. Apologies to Dutch for that. Um, on that episode, but I would like to maybe think about bringing in another healer at a low level, which is going to be this occultist here. It would be great to have a... Um, a Vestal down at this level. Must know it. 
but they seem to be extremely rare, which is probably why you upgrade this, which we might think about doing. Uh, but I'm really, really keen on upgrading the guild and the blacksmith because, you know, I need this. <laughs> I need 20 more portraits and I've hardly found any. And yet we've got level 4 people. And we've got a blacksmith that needs upgrading. Again, we need to be able to do level 4 weaponsmithing and armorsmithing. And we could also reduce it if we had the deeds, but again, we've got nothing but freaking crests all over the place. Which you can trade, I understand, and we have done it in the past. So in the next episode, I suppose we will try and make our way to maybe another boss, or at least just try and get some done on one of these, uh, maybe the cove. We haven't been to the cove for some time, but there's only one mission there, which is the problem. So we've got a veteran medium mission, which is going to involve three pieces of thing, but we could take the level fours to it steamroll it or we could try taking these level threes because ash is still available uh, despite being a whiny little b so maybe we'll try a medium level three cove mission it's going to involve a little bit of thinking about who we take uh but we'll talk about that in the next episode but for now that is the end of this episode thank you for watching i do hope you've enjoyed it it was a quite a long one so I would apologise for that, but actually it's about the same length as normal medium missions, which is good. So, yes, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Have a nice day. Come back for the next one. Maybe you'll be in it. See you later.